Hello, everyone. It is uh, Will and Jason from the Inside Infinity podcast uh, recording this non-scheduled uh, video on April 8th, 2014, uh, actually the day after we recorded our Star Wars episode, and uh, a lot of you might be asking yourselves, why are Jason and I talking to you on an unscheduled night? Well, uh, the reason for that is rather simple. Uh, Disney Infinity 2.0 was finally announced today and uh, it was announced via a very 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 short teaser video ringing in at 27 seconds uh, three of those seconds were a uh, uh, for all audiences uh, uh, little box at the beginning so there's really only about 24 seconds of actual content there so it's very brief uh, but there's been lots of speculation going around the internet today and uh, a lot of what we discussed today is going to be speculation but uh, hopefully it will be educated speculation touching on a lot of things we've actually discussed in the past and then uh, just kind of given giving you our take on this trailer and see if we can kind of read between the lines a little bit with the content that was actually presented to us so uh, we're not not going to play the trailer because we know most of you have already seen that but what we are going to do is kind of a, a frame by frame of the trailer and kind of discuss it as as it happens so with that uh, the technical person is Jason so Jason I'm just gonna go ahead and hand it off to you to go ahead and get things started all right so yeah well I guess before we begin I think we should acknowledge that if I, I don't think I'm wrong in saying this is the first official uh, admittance, I guess, of mm -hmm. the fact that there is something else coming for Disney Infinity. This is the first brand new bit of information for what's next past what's been announced, correct? Correct, yep. That's exactly right. Um, I mean, it, it's been alluded to, but nothing official has ever been discussed, so this is the no. first time that's really... So this is really... exciting. We've got a job in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the show, the show, not only must go on, but it can go on now. That is really great. So hopefully this will be the first of many. But uh, yeah, I thought it'd be really good if we could just break down this trail and see what we can see and and uh, work it out. So I guess opening the trailer, I guess the first thing you notice is that it obviously is clearly a. Um, Design the design. Everything looks the same as Dizzy Infinity One currently is. There's obviously no different to the characters. I'm also. I think it's pretty safe to assume from the trailer that this is a canned, pre-rendered animation. That's clearly not anything in game, so to speak. Well, I don't know. What, what makes you say that? And, and I'll... Uh, I don't know. I guess I just because of the, the things that they're doing. I mean. I don't know. I, uh, from memory, I don't think any of the characters in current Disney Infinity can pick up blocks like that. No, uh, but in uh, f previous trailers, we have seen characters do animations that aren't included in the game, but, but from what I could tell from a lot of those trailers, they were actually in-game. And so although maybe this was uh, animated kind of outside of the game, hopefully it's being rendered in real time with the game engine. And I think well, that's important. If, if it is, it looks amazing. <laughs> well, and that's the, exactly why I wanted to mention that, because uh, I'm I'm hoping what we're seeing here is next-gen visuals. But if it is next-gen visuals, you can see the, the textures themselves are a higher resolution, but it still looks like it would be very easily to be scaled to... Um, to Last gen consoles, so and certainly looking at that, I, I, by you know, I by no means saying that I don't think current gen consoles could achieve that look by any means. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking, at, I'm not seeing anything texturally or anything brand new in this particular shot, so it looks like Disney Infinity is normal, and I think that's intentional for the trailer because it's supposed to be. Uh, Mysterious, I guess, based on what's um, you know what the, what this trailer is revealing, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, well, look at that. We already have <laughs> in freeze frame and already <laughs> pretty much giveaway of what this uh, trailer is revealing. Um, but again, I'm not really seeing anything new in shot. No, uh, but one thing I wanted to mention is take a look at that um, take a look at that haunted mansion in the background. To me, yes. it actually looks 
low quality. Um, and I don't know if that's just a, a depth of field thing. You, if you look at the clock tower, the MU clock tower, it also looks a little bit lower fidelity. Uh, so again, I'm, I'm, and I'm mentioning this specifically for a few shots from now. So, so keep that in mind as we uh, as we move forward. But I think, like you said, Jason, we're we're kind of already spoiling. There are two two of the biggest uh, pieces of this trailer is one a the confirmation of a Disney Infinity next whatever that is, and we'll get to that later. But then also this piece right here. And uh, why don't why don't you go ahead and. Uh, also, look, looking at the top of that um, that dome on the uh, the Scrooge's bin, you can see that that's not a perfect um, dome there. That's got a bit of poly polygon action to mm -hmm. it, which would be another hint that this possibly is from some form of in-engine something. I don't know why yep. they would bother creating low resolution. Um, yeah, you can even see it in the in the dollar sign that that's a it's mm -hmm. a low polygon. Why would you bother creating low resolution if you've got high resolution assets specifically for trailers like this? Well, so uh, what you're what you're referring to is polygon count, um, which is different than than uh, texture resolution. And I still feel like looking at the shot. If you look at the Nice Landers building to the right there, it's still higher texture than than what we're currently used to, but the polygon structure looks to be about the same because we know, Jason yeah. and I, from our experience, know that you can get much rounder and smoother edges uh, with this. So, um, now That's something I want to talk about on the next on next week's show is I, I really hope that we don't have a situation where they are reducing the quality of the graphics and the size of the game to accommodate for the Wii U knowing that the Wii U is considerably less powerful than the Xbox One and PS4, I would hope, I would hope that Nintendo owners still get a, um, a better quality experience than they've received this generation, but I hope that they're not holding back because they want the same experience on all three of the next-gen consoles. I, I don't think that's the case at all. I think the experience that Wii U will get will be the same as the 360 and the PS3. Um, well, and I so. will... When we get to the end, I'll speculate uh, based on some of the internet chatter um, why we're seeing some of these lower uh, lower polygonal structures. So, well, anyway, here's the first big reveal. Why don't you tell us about this strange vehicle on screen? So, for those that don't know, um, actually, our our good friend uh, Stephen Krellen is the one who who told me what this was, and I know it will make Jason and I very happy. Um, and also, our friends at Vinyl Mission Kingdom create a post about this today as well. So for those that don't know, this is actually Madame Medusa's boat from the Rescuers. And we just saw what it looks... Okay, so here's what it looks like in the, uh, the teaser. And then this is what it looks like in the movie The Rescuers Down Under. So, Jason, what do you think about that? I think it's cool because it means they're going to continue. They're clearly continuing down this this uh, classic route. They're not afraid to continually update that side of things, which means clearly they've had some really good feedback on the classic elements uh, in the existing Disney Infinity. Yeah, exactly. And forgive me, it's the rescuers. I don't know if I said the rescuers down under, but it's, it's the rescuers. Um, yeah, so so the disc, you know, I think we all know what that is at this point. And at the end of the trailer, it's, it's obviously recognizing Marvel being included in the Infinity Universe. But so I think that was an important statement for them to make: was, hey, yes, we know Disney has these more current uh, properties that they've acquired over the last couple of years. That and Star Wars, we still haven't heard about Star Wars. But this is kind of acknowledgement that, yeah, they're still going to include those classics that so many diehard Disney fans and, and a lot of Infinity fans are, are really hoping to get. And this is kind of an obscure reference, I thought. I mean, it, mm. honestly, Jason, you, you asked me before a show if I knew what it came from, and I didn't know until it was brought to mm. my attention. Um, but I, it doesn't matter. I, it fills me with such delight that, you know, again, holding out hope for all those great classics. And I, I was excited when I saw it, though, because I knew this has got to be a really obscure... 
Disney piece. You can just <laughs> tell by looking at it. It's clearly nothing out of anything new like Frozen or anything like that. So I was excited by that, and I think that's great that they put it in the trailer because it creates that excitement and Easter egg hunt of trying to find out what is that vehicle. Because I would challenge anyone to recognize that instantly just by looking. You'd have to be a diehard um, you know, fan to, to recognize that just by seeing that. Because it's not mm-hmm. exactly exactly like the picture you just show, but again, that's super cool because it's again maintained that toy, um, you know, rendition of of the actual vehicle. Yep, yep, I completely and, agree. And again, that fire fe- fire effects look amazing. If that's in <laughs> engine, that's that's really cool. Yeah, uh, and I'm I'm hoping that's what we're seeing right there. It also would suggest that it's a really fast. Vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what what would that be. It would probably the closest thing we get right now is uh, Buzz's uh, jetpack. Yes, and, and that's, that's yeah. I mean, that's not even a rideable vehicle. So this is awesome, and it looks like a lot of fun. I mean, look at that. Yeah, and hopefully, what it also means is maybe we might be getting a little bit of water in the game if that's in fact a boat. Um, oh, that's a some... point. So, um, right. Jason, I want I want folks to to concentrate on this this scene a little bit, and you can go ahead and forward it a couple frames because there's something specifically I want to to point out here that again I'm hoping is is lending to these being in game next gen visuals. Okay, so actually. If, if you can back it up just a little bit. And I, I honestly, I can't tell if this is the quality of the video itself, but if you look closely, there is, a, again, a depth of field effect between uh, Mike and the robot. I can't think of the incredible robots right now. Uh, but yeah. there's this depth of field effect, and a lot of times in cinematography, that's used to focus the audience's attention uh, on a specific item. Um, but it's something to my recollection we haven't seen at all in Disney Infinity 1 and you can see how the background of this is a little bit blurry too so I'm really hoping there's more advanced visual effects like that in the next version. I'm also, I mean, maybe I've just never looked close enough but the detail on that robot looks amazing looking at that little screw mm-hmm. in the, that looks like it's you know part of the uh, a battery compartment looks amazing. Yep, and the reflection there. Um, yeah, the, Reflecting, and you can see you can see where the light is coming from based on uh, uh, where it's reflecting off a of mic as well, and, and so it looks like it's real time lighting effects. And and although there is some of that in Disney Infinity One, uh, it's all dictated by the sky domes and not yeah. environmental lighting. So yeah, so that's also is uh, holding a sword there. Sully holding a sword is that uh, not Sully? Um, Mike. Mike. I don't think he has a sword in this nope. infinite one. You have to be given a sword, don't you? you? can't. No one can just pick up a sword and wield it, can they? Oh my gosh, I can't believe... I mean, I, I know the pirates have them. That's yeah. all I can think of, though, and I, I can't think of it being a pack. I don't have my iPad here, so I can't check. Again, that would be another suggestion of that maybe some of this is... I mean, it still might be an engine, but it might be cus- obviously custom animated. Mm. It obviously is custom animated stuff. Yes. Because obviously there's got to be no mechanic of a random Captain America shield <laughs> flying around. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, at the same time, I mean, I can't remember any other trailers off the top of my head, but kind of sucks when there's a little bit of misleading information that if, if you know, if uh, Mike can't wield a sword, if you know what I mean. Well, that or hopefully uh, the sword is a tool in Disney yeah. Infinity 2. Yeah. So this is just right. kind of a... So there it is. There's the, the reveal. <laughs> so... And confirm then that Captain America, at the very least, for, regardless of Marvel, Captain America is definitely going to be a Dizzy Infinity character, or at the very least his shield is yep. going to be probably a power disc. How awesome is that? And, and you know, this is not, this animation, this little teaser is not something that was done overnight, so uh, it's the obvious timing of this is with last weekend's release of Captain America 2. And yes. That's awesome. 
Well, it is because exactly what we discussed on the Star Wars show is that it shows that Disney's smart enough to be trying to capitalize on their franchises and, and while stuff is hot, mm. put something out that shows, you know, this is if you love Captain America, be excited for this. Yep, yep. And, and yeah, exactly, paying attention to um, what's happening around them and trying to hopefully coincide more releases with with uh, movie tie-ins as, as they're released. And so this is the most important screen because this tells us a couple of things. One, it's got the Marvel logo on it, mm -hmm. but it is separate to the Disney Infinity logo. Mm -hmm. This is number one thing this tells us that it is Disney Infinity, clearly Disney Infinity, the platform, and then Marvel is off to the side in the bottom right-hand corner saying that obviously Marvel elements were in this trailer. Um, and obviously this 2.0 edition up the top, which is the biggest mystery of all of this trailer because there's only two, two outcomes that this can mean. Either this is glorified DLC because it's mm -hmm. clearly a 2.0 edition, so it's not, it's not DLC. This is clearly something separate. It's just a question of... Is this brand new? I mean, it's obviously not going to be brand new from the ground up code, but is this is a major step forward, Dizzy Infinity, or is this Dizzy Infinity one repackaged with a new starter set or something that's like, you know, with incremental upgrades, slightly increased graphic fidelity, adding a few bits and pieces here and there, or is this, you know, the big holy grail, Disney Infinity? 2.0, and those words are intriguing, 2.0 edition. So my take on this, uh, you, you are, it's a great question, and it's actually what the internet has been a buzz. That, that's all they've been talking about with this trailer, well, obviously that and the Marvel piece. But what does 2.0 mean? So the reason it's confusing is because you generally don't see game announcements with 2.0 in the name. Uh, so... 2.0 is generally kind of a, a moniker of revision. So this is a revision of a previous version. Why didn't they do Disney Infinity 2 if it's going to be a full game? Uh, so Jason, actually you and I talked about this today when, when the announcements first came out, and my take on this is that it's going to be a completely new game. It is, it is a full-fledged Disney Infinity sequel with uh, Disney Infinity... Upgrades. I mean, I'm hoping everything we've asked for, at least a lot of kind of like our, our must-haves for Disney Infinity 2, I'm, I'm hoping they're going to be there. So if that's the case, why did they do the 2.0? And, and I think that's simply them recognizing, I think, it's, I think it's a couple things. I think, one, it's them recognizing that Disney Infinity is a platform and kind of reminding people that Disney Infinity is, is a platform. And so whatever the next version of Disney Infinity is going to be. It's going to be built off of the original. Um, but it's also, I think, a reminder that Disney Infinity, we've already been told, is, is backwards compatible. Um, we know the figures that we have currently, that we currently own, are going to be forward compatible with Disney Infinity. And so I think that's where that moniker also makes a little bit of sense. And look, I'm I'm totally excited about that because even though we've got a nitpicky long list of wishes to you know that we'd like to see changed, I think if this is a 2.0 edition, and obviously the word edition gives away the fact that it is a brand new something. It's not it's not an add-on. This is a mm -hmm. new edition of Disney Infinity, regardless of what that means. Um, we've said from day one that Disney Infinity was go like. Edition 1, 1 1.0, let's call it, was going to be a test the market to see if this is something that could be successful. Yep. So if 2.0 gives them the opportunity to create a, a product that allows them for infinite expansion until we get a bigger upgrade, I'm totally happy with that. If they, know, if they can build functions in that goes, hey, Frozen's just blown up, let's get a Frozen um, playset done and into the 2.0 platform, mm -hmm. then we're all happy Disney fans. If they can make it more expandable, we're totally wrapped. Yeah, so exactly, exactly. And it's still, you know, 
Skylanders has had multiple versions, and a lot of that has been cross-compatible among itself, but it's been uh, called different things. And and that can be also confusing for consumers. So if, if when the new version comes out, parents go into a store and they say Disney Infinity version 2 work, or 2.0 uh, works cross-compatibility with version 1.0, uh, maybe it's to uh, eliminate some of those concerns as well. Yeah, well, there it is. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the the trail. We've got lots more to discuss, I think, in our next uh, podcast. But the hype train has begun. Let's hope that these trailers continue to come out on a on a regular basis in the lead up of whatever this is. I think this definitely makes me excited for the likes of E3 this year. I think that's going to be fantastic. My wallet is extremely scared, <laughs> and. <laughs> um, I think this is uh, great. So, yep. yeah, I think we should uh, hold our conversation till next week's podcast. What do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Jason, thanks for setting up that uh, the technical side of things here and, and talking to this with me. Um, as Jason said, we will kind of follow up on this discussion next week on next week's show. And who knows, this was such a short uh, teaser. Maybe we'll hear something by then. I don't expect to, but... This does open the door. Now nothing is off the table, so expect the news to really, really come pretty quickly. And uh, make sure you check out each one of our podcasts inside DisneyInfinity.com and uh, and here's on iTunes to stay up to date on all of that. So, Jason, thank you again. This was good, and I can't wait to talk with you more about this next week. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, Monday evenings, 8 p.m. Mountain Time uh, at InsideDisneyInfinity.com. And uh, we record the shows live, so make sure you come check us out next week and uh, listen to what we have to say about this teaser a little bit more. <laughs>